I'm April Anthony. I'm a current board director of First Financial Bank, and I'm also the former CEO and founder of Encompass Home Health and Hospice and Home Care Home Base. I got a degree in accounting from Aveline Christian, and the company that I'd gone to work for had uh, one of their subsidiaries that was really struggling financially. And so one of my first assignments was to, uh, to assess the financial health of the business. And uh, that's not always a great feeling when the first assessment is not a good one. I went to the owner to kind of report my findings and he decided we should sell that subsidiary. And so that was my second assignment was to find a buyer. Well, I really hate to fail. I am not a fan of, of uh, failure at all. And so sure enough, I couldn't find anybody who wanted to buy a struggling home health business. And so I went back a few weeks later to report my activity to the owner of the business. And uh, right in the middle of the conversation, just about the time I was about to admit that I could find no one interested in buying it, I said, what if I just buy it? And he said, sold. I was 25, I didn't have any capital to put into the business. I ended up acquiring that company uh, really for the assumption of its debt. We grew that company to about $35 million in revenue. 1998, I started Encompass Home Health and Hospice, uh, about a $1.3 billion revenue business with locations across the nation. I came from a family that was, uh, you know, very middle class, never really had the opportunity to make big transformative donations to things. And so for me, the opportunity to give a transformative gift the first place I wanted to give it was ACU. And so we were able to build this great stadium here at Aveline Christian, where now uh, you can't look anywhere without seeing purple and white. For me, it ended up being an extra boost of pride because I'm about the biggest football mom you can ever find. My son Luke has played football since the second grade and I have, uh, I've literally never missed a game from that point forward. And as luck would have it, not by, uh, by intention, but literally by luck, he ended up choosing to come to Abilene Christian, which when I told him we were gonna build the stadium, he said, Mom, you know I'm not going there. And I said, Luke, you know I'm not building it for you. <laughs> and so sure enough, we ended up, uh, as luck would have it, with Luke being here uh, playing football. And the very first game in this stadium, my son was the first, uh, first time that he threw a college touchdown pass uh, in that very first game at this stadium. So how cool to be able to, to, uh, to open a new stadium on the campus that you love and then to have your kid playing quarterback and, uh, and throw in a touchdown pass in, his, in one of his first college games. So it was, uh, it was a pretty cool day that I'll never forget. As I came on to the board for First Financial, it was really about how do we create the kind of organization that will be long lasting? How do we create it from a service perspective? How do we create it from a features and functions perspective? How do we engage our younger customer with a digital solution that works? And so I think I was uh, uh, able to help the bank sort of step into the eyes of the customer. You can have the best compensation and the best benefit program out there and you still won't be the best place to work. It's all the intangibles that when you add them to a great structure of, of compensation and benefits that really creates the best place to work. And I think the biggest part of that intangible is caring. Creating a culture of recognition and reward, I think is every bit as important as having strong compensation and benefits.